Hey, what's up guys, Phil here. Have you ever tried your hardest to try and hold a camera steady, but the video still looks shaky at the end? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make that shot look rock solid like it was on a tripod. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so here I've got my footage already loaded, and I've trimmed off the beginning and the end so that we just have a scene where I'm trying to hold it steady by hand. And you can see it's not quite working. So if you haven't recognized it already, this is Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo with a crazy amount of people walking across. Okay, so if we want to steady this, I'm going to drag it down and I'll place it on the timeline. And then I'm going to make a composite shot from it. Right click, make composite shot or control M or I can click this button here for making composite shot. Oops, gotta select it first. Click that. And we can just leave the name the way it is. Press OK. And now we have our compositing tab. And we want to make a track for it. I'll click the plus there. And we can see this makes quite a mess, but we can click this grid of boxes and choose the compositing workspace. And take a second, and then that cleans things up much nicer. Okay, so we're going to open up our tracker, our tracking point, and we can see there's nothing really here, but if we go to the layer tab, here is our tracking point. So you want to put that on something that has high contrast and is not going to move which is very tricky in this scene because there are a lot of things they kind of look like they might be good like this corner but as you scroll you can see that a lot changes in that in fact here it gets darker and the tracking point could easily get lost on that because the contrast changes so what I ended up doing is placing it on the corner of this M and that works pretty well so we actually need two tracking points to do stabilizing so we'll come up here to the track and I'm gonna change single point to double points and now you can see we get another tracker here So let's move this one over and another good spot is right on the corner of this yellow sign And I just realized that my timeline is down here in the middle at 11.48. I should rather really have that at the beginning. Set that back to the beginning. And now we can put these back where they should be. Put those at the corner of the M and at the corner of this light. That's good. And now we can start our tracking. So we can just press this kind of play button, which is the track forward button, and it'll start going. And this does take a moment, so I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, now that's all finished, and we can see it has tracked those two points, and it did a, see, it looks like it did a pretty good job. And we can see that it's created a keyframe on every frame. And they're all blurred together. And it did it for both tracking points. Now we can close those. Let's zoom out a little bit. And so now we're going to come over here to our track tab again. And we're going to set our purpose to stabilize. And we can turn on rotation and scale. And then we'll click apply. And this should just take a few seconds. Okay, now it's done. And so let's go back to our viewer layer. And you can see the video got offset a little bit, but that's okay. So let's go back to the beginning. Click there. And as we scrub through, you can see the video stays completely stable. You can even press the play button and see it's rock solid but we do have these areas on the outside 
So we're going to have to fix that by zooming in and moving the video a little bit. So in order to do that, let's create a new layer. And we'll make it a point. And the point is invisible. But we can change our video's parent to the new point. And then we can do our scale and transformations on the point. So now we've got our point selected. We can move this over a little bit and maybe move it up some. And we're going to adjust the scale, make it a little bigger. That might be pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. It looks like we need to move it over some more. And you might have to scale it up a good bit. Uh, you'll just have to play with it and scrub through the video until you don't see any more of those checkerboards anymore. And we can see a few up here. Let's move it up a little bit more. Oh, there's a little more. So I think I'm going to scale it up a little bit more. Okay, then we can move it up some. And as I'm scrubbing through, I'm not really seeing any. Remember, this black spot over here is not the edge of the video. It's just that pole. And I see a tiny bit up here. So I'm going to move this up just a hair. And that might cover it. Okay, so that looks pretty great, just as if it were on a tripod. Now this only works with a little bit of motion, and if you use if your video has too much motion, and you try to use this, you get a weird jello effect around, especially around the edges. And so you only want to use this if you have a tiny bit of motion. Oh, wait, I see a little bit of checkerboard showing up here. Let's scale up a little bit more. And that should cover it. And that's it. Let's uh, go back to our editor view. And let's zoom this in a little bit. And let's play our video and it looks pretty good. Now in the case of this video I can see the pole seems to look like it's moving a little bit so I might want to zoom in and reposition the video a little bit so we don't see that pole at all. But otherwise it's a pretty good shot. So that's it. If you liked this video and you learned something please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer them. And please subscribe so you can check out more of these videos. See you next time. You can actually get kind of lost in the middle of the answer.